crazy stuff is about to happen for dogecoin you do not want to miss it we got so much going on today and we're going to talk about that so definitely stick around to the end of this video but let's just get straight into it remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this is financial advice hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff but we want to get straight into this because there is a lot of stuff going on right now for dogecoin now the most important thing that you got to know is elon musk is literally coming out with a bio biography right it's not an autobiography so it wasn't written by him but it's a biography written by someone that knows some inside information with elon musk right so this is pretty interesting because I mean, it's kind of elon musk and it's dealing with those coins so anything with elon musk and those coins is going to be crazy right so anyways we're going to go over this article and pretty much what this article is is describing is pretty much how elon musk had a hand and the building of Dogecoin coming up to where it is now. He was working behind the scenes with Dogecoin, which is why he was so honed in on Dogecoin. And this is kind of crazy. Well, let's go over this. So it says Dogecoin price prediction. They're going to talk about a price prediction after that. But what we really want to look at is Elon Musk's connection to Doge could propel it 22% higher. Now, 22% doesn't seem like that much, and it really isn't from where we are now. But it could be a significant amount, especially considering if you're looking at the prices here, 22% could possibly bring us up here above these momentum wave bands. We're going to talk about that soon, right after we talk about this, though. So this is huge. Dogecoin's upward trajectory could continue after the much-awaited biography of the billionaire CEO Elon Musk, which is expected to reveal his connection to Doge. The book detailing the ex-owner's life and achievements written by Walter Isaac Kahn will be released on September 12th. So this is going to be coming out on September 12th. This is going to be big because that's not too far from now. If you look at the calendar here, September 12th is going to be on next Tuesday. Not this upcoming Tuesday, but next Tuesday. So that's going to be pretty big. Now it says Isaac Khan wrote an exclusive excerpt from his new autobiography, or not autobiography because he's not Elon Musk, but his new biography titled Elon Musk in the Wall Street Journal, giving a behind the scenes look into the life of one of the most greatest business men of our times. So the book gives a deep dive into Elon Musk's decision to acquire Twitter and explores the possibilities for Dogecoin being incorporated into the social media giant's payment system. Now, we already know Elon Musk has talked about how he wants Dogecoin to be the literal payment system of Twitter, which is now X. So he wants that to be the payment system. Whenever you tip a creator, whenever you tip one of the um, people that you follow, it's going to be in Dogecoin. If you want to send money to another uh, creator on there, another person on there, it's going to be in Dogecoin. If you're going to get paid from the advertisements on there, it's going to be in Dogecoin. This is what he's trying to push. So this is pretty big. Now, it's saying, according to Isaac Khan, after it became public that Musk was buying Twitter shares, the popular tech mogul reached out to Perik Agral, Twitter CEO, and arranged a secret dinner meeting on March 31st. So Musk described Agral as a really nice guy, which is not good. You know, every guy out there, you don't want to be the nice guy. It doesn't matter whether you're dealing with women or you're dealing with Twitter and you're dealing with other CEOs and bosses and people who are millionaires who are sharks in the water. You don't want to ever be classified as a nice guy whenever you're a man. It's just, it's just not a good label to have as a guy. You don't want to be classified as the nice guy, right? And that's in business and it's in dating, which is pretty funny because it's, it's you know the truth all across the board. But then it says, but he believed that being likable was not a desirable trait for a CEO which is 100% true. If you're a leader of anything, you don't want to be a nice guy. You want to be the one who lays the foot down. And then it said, Musk stated, what Twitter needs is a fire-breathing dragon, and Parag is not that. And I agree. Any CEO, any company needs someone that's not necessarily nice. It needs someone that's willing to do things that others aren't willing to do, like laying off people when you know your business is struggling financially so that it can continue to grow. So you know, it's not necessarily good if you look at it but if you look at it from a humanitarian point, it doesn't look good when you're firing a bunch of people. But you might need to do that so that your, your business can continue to strive. So you don't need a nice guy there. You need a guy who's just ruthless and will just do what it has to be done. I'm not saying Elon Musk is completely ruthless, but Elon Musk will do what has to be done. So that does make sense. Now, it says the next day, the Tesla CEO had launched uh, had lunch with his brother, Kimball, who suggested the idea of starting a new blockchain-powered social media platform but Musk was like nah i just want to go ahead and take twitter so then we can just scale it scale it to the moon 
And then it says Musk was intrigued by this and even half jokingly mentioned incorporating Doge, the cryptocurrency he had been funding as a payment system for the platform. So he was joking around with his brother and he was like, yeah, we should make the payment system for this platform, this new crypto that I've been funding. So he's literally been funding Dogecoin inside of the background which could seem controversial because you remember what happened with the sec they tried to someone tried to follow the lawsuit on him and that's kind of that's kind of bad now that this is coming out because and now he was funding it behind the scenes and but, but he already beat it i think he beat that case so i don't know we're, we'll, we're gonna see hopefully nothing bad happens to elon but it says the next day the tesla ceo had lunch with his brother so that's when he joked about that and then it says it remains to be seen whether Twitter, now X, will incorporate the leading coin into its payment system. The Dogecoin community is eagerly waiting to see if any specific details could be revealed in the biography once it is out. And see, that's where all of this comes from because this is actually pretty good. Like, he already changed the name to X, which was a sporadic movement. Now, if he already changed the name to X, and he's already talked about, hey, I'm going to have the Dogecoin as the face of X. So now Dogecoin is the new logo, right? So this is kind of crazy because when Elon Musk says he's going to do something, he generally does it. So I think Dogecoin is going to be the currency of Twitter. And who knows? Maybe in the future, it'll be the currency of Mars, too. So we'll see that. But yeah, now Analytics Insight says that we should see a rise going to 0 0.0776. Now, what I'm looking at here is there is a possibility that it can get to 0 0.0776. Right here, this is a the four hour chart here. If we look at the one hour chart here, it's going to look a little bit different. But immediately what I'm seeing here is an increase coming all the way up here to 0 0.06410. Now, it's not that far from where we are now, but it does show that we are going to be increasing here with the price of Dogecoin coming very soon. And if you also look up here, yeah, it could also stretch out a little bit further too. And if you look at the RSI down here, the Stosh RSI, you can actually see that it's on the incline right now. It's on the increase. So once it gets to the top here, it'll probably end up crossing and then it'll go down. So we should get to the top of these momentum wave bands before we actually pull back down here with Dogecoin. Now, if we do pull back down from here and then what we could see is that new area down there. And actually, let me go back to the four hour chart here. So what I'm talking about is this right here. It could go down to point zero five nine. And the reason why I say that is because Bitcoin is projected to go down as well to 20K from 25K. Now, I think this increase in Dogecoin is going to be a temporary increase. I don't think it's just going to go crazy right out the gate and just keep pumping. I think it's going to be a temporary increase. And yeah, it's going to be very temporary. So it's not just going to be something that's just going to be, you know, crazy astronomical gains. Like it, we already seen that for Dogecoin. But right now, I think that would just be a temporary increase. Now, it does say down here, uh, shattering these ceilings would open the way for a return to the 0 0.0776 range representing a 22% rise here. So they're they're predicting that it goes up 22% here, which is always a possibility. We're going to go ahead and bring this up here so then we can uh, look at it in a better uh, scope here. So let's just go ahead and increase this zoom. So yeah, it actually looks pretty bad. So we're probably not going to even look at that. But yeah, if we do go up, then you know it's going to bring us back to where we were around in July. So that'll be a decent rise in price if that's what we're going to do. So I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to keep you all updated on this to see how, you know, see how things go. But yeah, this is pretty interesting. This is a pretty big thing that Elon Musk is uh, literally funding Dogecoin in the background. And he has been doing it since the jump. And now there's going to be a whole biography about it. Now, one thing I have is how does this guy know exactly what elon musk was doing in the background isaac Khan. how does he know what elon musk was doing how does he know all of this how is he writing a biography on elon musk is the information coming directly from elon musk or is it just this isaac Khan guy making his own assumptions and doing his own thing that is a very important question to ask and that's what we all need to be asking ourselves is elon musk really like the creator behind this is he really giving Isaac Khan this information and saying, Look, put this out, this is the proper information, or is Isaac Khan just doing what he thinks Elon Musk did? That is a that is the bigger question right there. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. 
Um, I, I really do think this could be good for your Dogecoin in the long run. But anyways, hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. As always, I'll be back with another video.